Oh my gosh, you guys. This little workshop was so dark. Here is how to install electricity in a workshop in one weekend. Let's do it. This is where all of the power for the building comes in and that's our super protector pink board that we're going to remove and then we're going to take this apart. Basically everything in there um, is just wires and the actual plug itself was demolished so we're just going to clean that out. We're actually going to add a breaker box for all of the electric to come into to make it a little bit more safe. We're going to cut a board to go between the studs and we want that board there um, just to kind of push the breaker box out away from the wall and kind of be even with the studs so no big deal just gonna fit that in there and give it a little bit of extra uh, support with some screws so it stays in place and then attach our breaker box So I didn't get everything that I needed at the hardware store. So my dad and my husband just left to do that and they gave me marching orders uh, for really basic stuff. So what I'm gonna do is, we'd like all of our plugs to be breast height. So um, we are going to actually uh, do our drilling for all the holes that have to go through our two by fours at just below that so that we're not too off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually mount our boxes while we're waiting for them to come back. So that's gonna be really simple, really fast, except on a chalk line. So we're gonna use a little trick with some twine. Super fun. Um, I've decided that this corner over here is where I'm going to kind of have my anchor point. So come on over to the corner, hang out with me, Let's set our anchor point. So all I'm going to do is put a screw in on one end, tie a string to it, and then pull that string level uh, using another screw at the end, and then drill my holes below that line, and then use that string line as kind of the bottom of my plug boxes. So got to get those ready so that I can mount them. You got to push out those little holes, no big deal, and get those sorted so that your wires can actually fit inside. I wanted mine to be away from the wall, my plug boxes, so I got a piece of um, scrap wood that was the right width and then made my boxes flush with that, clamped them in place, and then pre-drilled and um, screwed in some screws to hold them on. No big deal. Once they got back from the store, Dad went ahead and helped me figure out which wires were actually the incoming versus the ones that, uh, for whatever reason, uh, had gone to the plug that was in there. No idea exactly what was going on with all that, but we marked them all and then went ahead and brought a line up to our breaker box and then back to that original box that had been down there um, and then we went ahead and stripped the wires and got everything ready to connect but um, did not actually hook it up so that we could go ahead and run all of our lines to our outlet boxes that way we weren't dealing with live wires while we were trying to put outlet boxes together simple enough now if you ever, haven't ever done an outlet before they're fairly simple the ground wire goes to the green looking screw the white wire goes to the silver screws and then the black wire goes to the gold screws and basically you just have to get all those uh, connected together but this is in no way supposed to be a how to do electricity this is just a showing you what we did so you can kind of see we put together an outlet box we screwed it together like it should have been um, according to the instructions and then we put a cover on it because we're goofballs even though there isn't a wall 
We did the same with our three light switches. One goes outside to right in front of the little door. One goes out to the big roll up door for the garage door. And then one went to the single light bulb in the building. So we're just gonna take those off, replace the wires and replace the switches. Cause you know what? We didn't need switches from 1950. We kind of wanted switches that were a little bit more up to date. Once we had all the wires replaced, it was time to connect our breaker box and then give our plugs a try. We also decided to add a ground wire because there wasn't one. So basically we got a copper pipe, pounded it in outside, connected a wire to it, and then brought it to one of our plugs and attached that to our ground. And that brought the ground to our whole building. And we thought the project was done, so we decided to flip the breakers and... <gasps> Yay! Power! I know that that was not the most super illuminating video, but the deal is it was basically to show you guys that you can bring light into a space really quickly by installing some electricity. Um, I know that it was hard to kind of see in our prior setup because basically I was being very careful with my lights and everything, but now I don't have to be as careful. I can kind of do what I want to do and go where I want to go because we have all this electricity all over the place. We have four plugs where before we had one, actually now we have one, two, three, four, five, six plugs where before we had one. Um, we had lights before that my husband had jerry-rigged, but now they're totally correctly done. Um, uh, they're not running off of uh, uh, any uh, uh, extension cords in the room. The only thing I have on an extension cord is whatever uh, tool I decide to push out from the wall and sit in the middle of the room to do my shot on. Everything else can be pushed against the wall and then 90% of the time I don't even have to use the tool away from the wall. I can use it right at the wall so I don't even have to drag, drag the extension cords out. So thank you for pushing through all of this. Be sure to Subscribe and hit the little bell. That's what YouTube cares about now is the little notification bell so that you know when a new video hits. You guys, I really appreciate this. This was so fun to do. One weekend, all the electricity you could ever want. Thanks.